Hi, I'm Philippa Perry. What's troubling you? Hi, Philippa. My problem is that I don't really know how to be myself in interviews. Um, I've started to get quite anxious in interviews because I feel like I'm pretending to be someone else. Naturally, I'm quite a disorganised, scatty person. Um, and in previous jobs, I've always had issues with being late or not turning up for work. These were part-time jobs that I had as a student, so I wasn't really that invested in the role. I know that I wouldn't treat any employers like that now, now that I've grown up a little and I'm serious about having a good career, but I still get anxious when I'm asked about my character because I feel like I'm having to lie and be someone else. Um, I've never taken any work roles that seriously before, so I'm actually not sure what positive personal qualities I would bring to a job. Is there any advice you could offer me? Thank you. Hey, hey, come over here. I want to whisper something. We are all pretending. You know what I said when I wanted to be a video agony aunt at The Guardian? I said I could do it. <laughs> How could I possibly know that? I hadn't done it before. Interviews are a dance. They know that, you know that, and it's about how well you can dance together. Everybody has a private face and a public face, sometimes known as a game face, and everyone needs people with whom they can share private thoughts. But sometimes in life, it's necessary to edit what we share. Normally, we quite naturally know when we need a game face. But when it comes to interviews, it seems as though your brain is short-circuiting a bit at the moment. The fact that you weren't the most reliable of employees when it came to casual student jobs is flooding your brain, and it seems to be becoming more important than the fact you achieved a degree, which must have taken some willpower and self-discipline to obtain. This old idea of yourself as unreliable isn't some ultimate truth. It's an intrusive thought that is in danger of sabotaging you. In other words, shift your focus away from an old idea of what you once were like and towards a new idea of what you can achieve now. Play the game. Enjoy it. If you want to leave me a voicemail, please call my Guardian phone line, plus four four two zero three three five three three eight four one. Hi, Philippa. I've been doing a PhD now since 2008, um, and I just can't motivate myself to finish it. 